keep living the adventure. Axis of Awesome. What is up, adventures? Welcome to another Reviews Day. Got a great review for you today. We are going to be reviewing the Mythic Legions Poxus line, and that is the evil wizard Arazak. You can see here he's in his awesome collector, collector package for Mythic Legions. Love this figure. I love this whole line, especially the wizards, obviously, because I bought them both. This is the evil wizard to my Samir Scroll Warder good wizard, I would guess. And uh, he's super cool. You can see the collector packaging. You've got the Poxus uh, emblem on the side indicating the line. And on the back here, all the figures that came in that line. Of course, here is Arazak himself. And below him is the wizard we just reviewed, Samir Scroll Warder. On the side here, you get a really cool bio. I will read it. Once a young wizard rising through the ranks of the convocation of... Basilia Arazak is a devout and cruel, a devious and cruel sorcerer bent on promulgating the world of Poxus, unsatisfied with the ancient approved texts of the Agbendor that his fellow acolytes were studying. Arazak was constantly thirsting for more. More knowledge, more spells, and more power. His pursuits led him away from the kingdom of Ophidion and the Tower of Basila and into the chaos of the Nether Gate, where he gathered with members of the Circle of Poxus. One convening was all that it took for Arzak to find his new home amongst like-minded sorcerers searching for insight into sinister power. That is a long freaking bio. And the text is super small too. I don't have my glasses, so I can't read it real well. So, anyways, uh, super dope figure. Like I said, collector packaging. We also purchased the evil magic effects. So we will do a quick look at those as well. So let's go ahead and pause the video and bust Arazak out of his plastic coffin. All right, gang, welcome back. So like I always do, here is a video of the figure proper in his plastic packaging. You can see the figure comes with a extra head sculpt, which I probably will end up using that one. Arzak proper himself, his evil magical staff of power. And he also comes with uh, several different hand sculpt variations, two different magical effects, some type of uh, collar or, or armor that he wears, as well as some potions and other items. So he comes with quite a bit of accessories which makes this figure super cool. So we'll pause the video and we will take him out of his package and take a closer look at him. All right, guys, welcome back. Before we look at Arazak, let's take a look at these evil magic effects. You guys remember the uh, good magic effects from the Samir review. Very similar, almost the same. As a matter of fact, we'll pop them out and just take a closer look at them. You get uh, two different, I guess, wind swirls or whatever um, this is essentially the same effects as the uh, one I reviewed for Samir just in different color variations obviously the purple and the red symbolizes the evil nature of this magic so excuse me I want to go into the details because you've already seen these but they're super cool we might end up using one or two of these for our review so just be aware that when you buy the good and the bad magic effects they are actually the same but with different colors which I don't mind because magic is all basically the same, just light and dark. All right, gang, welcome back. So here is Arazak out of his plastic packaging, and he is a super cool figure. You can see here he comes with a really awesome tailored soft goods cloak with wire in all the hems in order to pose the figure and give him a menacing evil stance when he does his dark magic. Obviously, he's bald just like Samir. He's almost a twin. You can see the really cool red eye uh, evil magic effects, the hood or the cowl. It also has wire in it as well. He comes with a belt. Now, I don't. one thing I don't like about some of the Four Horsemen Studios items is the belt's hard to keep uh, fastened together. It just doesn't pop in there in place. So I've noticed that was Samir as well. 
Um, I might have to glue it a little bit, but I push them in pretty hard, but they don't stay. So that's kind of a Debbie Downer, but um, I'm not really playing with these. I'm just displaying them, so uh, we can overlook that. But uh, the figure is armored underneath, like with uh, Samir. He has a black armored body, uh, which encompasses his whole uh, body. Obviously, obviously, his arms are armored as well, as you can see here. So the figure is armored underneath his cloak. Um, let's pop him back here. We also get this really cool evil staff. I've taken the practical magic effect. And uh, just like in Samir's, you can uh, wrap it around there to let the magic flow through this awesome staff. It has a really cool uh, evil crystal at the top, which I'm assuming is part of the source of his dark magic. He has this really cool armored cowl that fits over his neck, which we will probably put on here when we do the final display of this figure. This looks really cool, so I can't wait to put that on him. And then, of course, like I mentioned earlier, he comes with these small potions and whatnot. You can uh, attach to him, of course, different hand variations as well. So we will uh, get him all dressed up and ready to go. Um, and we'll take a look at him uh, with the final thoughts to see what this evil wizard Arazaka looks like, all encompassed in dark magic. All right, guys, welcome back. Here he is, Arazak, all magicked out with his magic evil magic effects and he is looking super dope i use the doctor strange-esque spell cast on his left hand and obviously the super magic dark crystal staff on his right hand and he looks super cool i put the head sculpt on and he has his evil golden armor on as well and this figure is ready to do evil and do battle with the wizard Samir and the rest of the good characters in the Mythics Legions universe. What a great figure. I'm glad I bought both of these. This guy's really reminiscent of the Dungeons and Dragons evil wizard. I can't remember his name in the LJM line of the early 1980s. That's one of the reasons why I bought him and Samir because they reminded me of those characters and I have been buying the Mika Dungeons and Dragons figures. And I think these really pair well with those. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review today. I really like both of these uh, figures. Let me know in the comments what you think of them. If you're a fan of the Mythic Legions line like I am, I don't own very many. Don't plan on going to buy a lot of them. I just tend to buy the ones that are kind of near and dear to my heart and look super cool like this evil wizard Arzak does. Uh, like and subscribe to the page. Hit the notification icon. Got a lot more dope videos coming. Hope you guys are doing great out there. And in the meantime, guys, keep living the adventure and cheers.